Today we will have a lecture about the load transfer from the to waste slabs. Okay. Um, before we start to identify uh, the the distribution of the two way slab, first of all, you need to uh, ensure that it is a two way slab by defining what is ly over lx. Ly means the longest side of the slab, while lx is shorter. Okay, so therefore, the y over ly over lx. If you have less or equal than two, meaning that the slab is two way slab. You have your friend. Okay. All right. So the the most important thing is that um, you need to imagine the way the slab will crack. Yeah. So um, according to the uh, research, when the two-way slab uh, reach ultimate limit state, when we apply the uh, ultimate load, the crack will be. Um, as shown in the figure, yeah, it is. Uh, you can see here. It will be okay. Straight line from the corner of this corner with a decrease with the angle of forty-five degrees. This is forty-five degrees. Sorry, your friend just join in. So this is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, yeah. Three. So this is actually 45 degrees. Oh no, sorry. And then uh, you can you can make uh, every angle 45 degrees line, yeah. And then until it uh, meet at the uh, center point here, yeah, here at one point, and then you make a straight line here. So, meaning that uh, this one, yeah, trapezoid. I mean, this is trapezoid, yeah? and this is all tra trapezoid or trapezium, and this is pyramid. Yeah. So this beam will support this load. Yeah? Your friend to join in. Okay, so for this beam, uh, it will support the pyramid shape here. Yeah? Okay, and so on. Therefore, uh, Therefore, okay, in two-way slab, um, we have a coefficient called BV. Yeah? It is BV. BV. Beta, actually the BV. Yeah? B or beta, the symbol beta, V. V means shear. V here is the coefficient. Yeah? So the coefficient we can uh, consist Two B B X and B B Y, right? So B B X is the one who parallel to the L X. Can you see here B B L X? Yeah. This is the coefficient. This is shear coefficient. Yeah. This is shear coefficient. Shear coefficient. Okay. Shear coefficient. Sorry. Uh, your friend want to join or Sharini? Yeah. Morning, Sharini. Okay. Um. So, uh, meaning that the load for this beam, yeah. Let's say now we have uh, grid A here B. One and two here. 
okay now we have a grid a b 1 2 so for beam a 1 2 yeah this beam in addition to its self weight due to a cross section of the beam it also will support the uh, load from the slab here yeah, this, this is the slab so amount of the slab that it will support is uh, by calculating or oh, by identifying what is the BVX here, eh? BVX here, times with the load here. So this is the um, the coefficient that uh, divide uh, the portion of this lab goes into this beam. We call it as BVX. And why BVX? It is parallel with this LX. While this beam will support the uh, load from this pyramid, with the total load uh, and the fraction of the load is BVY. So the same with this beam and also this beam. Okay. Um, okay. Now, um, Sorry, I want to hide this. Okay, um, this is table. Okay, so this is table two point one five. Yeah? table uh, you can obtain in your book and also in your booklet formula um, just now um, uh, we have seen that BVX yeah? so BVX is obtained from table 3.15 that is shear force coefficients for restrained slab yeah? so uh, here you can see that the uh, the ratio of ly over lx 1.0 1.1 1.2 1 until 2 here okay so uh, before we obtain the uh, bvx and at here is bvy at the last column here this is bvy so uh, we need to identify what is our type of the slab that we're going to analyze yeah so in this table we have nine type yeah here i name it as t1 what is t1 t1 is four edges continuous t1 t2 is one short edge discontinuous t3 is one long edge discontinuous and so on so let's look uh, every one of each uh, let's say we have our plan here you can see here the plan the floor plan okay the first thing is that you need to identify which one ly and lx as i said before we need to identify which one is the longest side uh, maybe in the plan it's uh, it's got various dimens uh, various dimension but uh, here uh, just assume that um, the longer side here, yeah, what you see is what you get. Yeah? So the longer side is LY and then the shorter side is LX. Sakina, yeah. join in. Okay. Okay. Four edges continuous. Eh? T1. Okay. This is the T1. So this is T1. This is T1, sorry. This is T1. Oh, 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 oh. This is T1, yeah. Okay, this is T1. Why uh, this is T1? This is because four edges continuous, yeah. The, this is the edge, this is the edge, this is edge and edge. 
So this lab, the 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 the, the, the blue slab here, uh, it is surrounded by the beam, eh? surrounded by the beam around 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 it. So one side, two side, three side, four side. So all the side are continuous. Eh? Why continuous? Because um, this is slab, this is also slab, meaning that the side is continuous. Yeah? Slab and slab. Yeah? For while for this beam, this is continuous because we have a slab here and we also have slab here. We got a slab here and then we got a slab here. So therefore, four edges, it four edges now is continuous. So the type is P1 here, right? The second one is one short edge discontinuous. Which one is one short edge? Which one is one short edge? This is one short edge, yeah? One edge one, two, three, four. The short edge, this one is short edge discontinuous because there's no slab here. Yeah, so this is type two. This is type two. Okay. Okay, the third one, one long edge discontinuous. Yeah. So now we we can determine that this one, yeah, the long edge is discontinuous. Therefore, this one is D3. Yeah, that is D3. Okay. Again, this is D3. Okay, now here, D2, okay, D2, okay, now T4, which one is T4? Two adjacent edges discontinuous, eh? two adjacent edges, do you know what is two adjacent edges? Yeah, this is adjacent, two edges, eh? one, two, adjacent, eh? sebelah, sebelah. So this is called T4. So this is T4. Okay, that is T4. Again, this one is T4, the same condition, yeah? So, uh, which one? Okay, this one. Okay, this is also called T4, and this one also T4. Okay. Okay. Um, T5. Two short edges discontinuous. Two short edges discontinuous. Okay, this one is. This slab got two edges. One, two discontinuous. There's no slab here. And there's no slab here, therefore, these two edges discontinuous. And this is what? T5. Yeah? Okay, two long edges discontinuous. So we don't have in the figure here. And maybe uh, you can, uh, maybe you can, uh, during the you know, project or anything else, you can use them. Okay, now we have uh, this one. Yeah, For this lab, we have one discontinuous. This one is discontinuous and this one is discontinuous. So we have one, two, three discontinuous, but with one long edge continuous. Three edges discontinuous and one long continuous. Okay, so this that is T7. 
but T7 here they they got typo error yeah actually this is continuous This is also continuous. Okay, so for our case here, um, three edges, three edges discontinuous, one long edge continuous, it is called T7. Okay, so the same with this slab. Okay, any question? Do you have any question? No, 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 doctor. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Um, now we have you have identified the type of the uh, type of the slab. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now we need to identify what is the value of BBX and BBY. Yeah. So here you got BBX, BBY. So the value is depend on what is the value of LY over LX. Yeah. But uh, as you can see here, BBY okay, from the, the right column is not depend on LY over LX. Meaning that after you identify it, then we can find what is the BBX. Okay, now we uh, let's look at this figure. Okay, so I need to erase. Okay, again, uh, uh, we need to identify LY, LX, yeah, and then uh, this is the pattern of cracking. So the pattern of cracking will show us uh, how much the slab will be carried out by the uh, beam around them. Yeah. So we have here our slab is surrounded by beam for beam here. Yeah. This is the beam. This is also the beam, and so on. If one of if there's no beam here, you cannot uh, use the table. Yeah. Three table three one one point uh, three point one five. Yeah? Table 3.15. Uh, this table 3.15 is only for the restrained slab, yeah? meaning that your slab, yeah, this is restrained slab, meaning that your beam will be uh, supported by beam all around them, around them. Yeah? So this is called restrained slab. Okay, so. Uh, as I said before, um, for this beam, yeah, it will support BBX, the, the, the coefficient according to the table 3.15. Uh, the portion of this, the portion of this uh, weight of this load or action is beta BX. Why beta BX? It is uh, parallel with this LX. And this this one is BBY, yeah. Therefore, <coughs> now um, if let's say uh, let's say we put a grid again here. Okay.
do here okay okay two one two okay um okay so um if we want to design a one two yeah this the beam is a one two this is a a and this one is one and this one is two This beam, yeah. So um, the load that we considered is sorry, let me erase this. The load that we considered is load from self weight of the beam, yeah? the beam itself here, yeah? and BVX, yeah. This BVX, BVX time it's. N, what is N? N is the action. Yeah? N is the action. This is action. The action. Action on slab. the action on the slab okay. so meaning that we have n here n n yeah. therefore bvx yeah, the the coefficient determined from table 3.15 times with the n action on the slab times lx this is lx right so the action on the slab we have uh, you, you have learned yesterday. So uh, n yeah, n gk and qk from the slab will uh, will be multiplied with bvx. Therefore, we have we, we get this yeah rho bh and bvx. While at this uh, ab yeah ab. For the A and B, yeah, A B for both A B one and A B two, we have the same value of load or action. So it is B V Y, yeah, B V Y times N L X and its own self weight. So we have uh, two types of action here. Okay. Any question? Do you have any question? No. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Go to the next one. Okay. I need to erase. Again, this is the our uh, slab just now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's say now you have L Y six L X four. So can you divide? What is the value at L Y over L X? One point five. One point five. Right. So you have 1.5. Now, um, 1.5. Yeah. So you can see 1.5. Okay. Um, 
<clears throat> so this is 1.5 yeah ly over ly 1.5 so just now our type is for ages discontinuous yeah t9 our type of slab is for ages discontinuous and then the value is 0.45 and BVY is 0.3. Okay. Then remember 4, 5, and 3, 3. Okay. 4, 5 is the shorter here direction. BVX 0.45 and uh, direction of ly is 0.33 therefore we have the coefficient uh, as shown in the figure yeah all right it easy right <laughs> okay now we go to the next one okay <clears throat> okay Okay, uh, let's say our ly over lx is 1.5, yeah? Okay. Let's say we have a plan like this, yeah? Floor plan, this is called floor plan for the, uh, what do you call that? Restric restricted slab, yeah? Restrain, sorry, restrain slab. Yeah. This is restrain slab. Okay, let's say we have a plan like this. So, uh, let us learn how to get the coefficient. Okay, uh, now. Okay, we start with the this one, T1. This is T1, okay. So, uh, ly over lx is 1.5 yeah? so bvx 0 0.45 yeah? so this is not right yeah? okay so this is actually 0 0.45 okay this is 0 0.45 This is wrong. Yeah. This is also 0 0.45. Mm, this is also wrong. This is wrong. Okay. So now we have 0 0.45 this side as well. 0 0.45. This is 0 0.45. This is 0 0.45. And this is BVY, right? BVY is 0 0.33. 0 0.33 here. 0 0.33. This is also 0 0.33 here. 0 0.33. Okay? So, now we have a coefficient of the slab T1. Yeah? The slab T1 will uh, uh, will you know, receive a load N, yeah, kilonewton per meter square. And then, uh, this load will be carried by the beam as much as 0 0.45 NLX. Yeah? NLX, we have the formula. Um, and also 0 0.33 NLX to this beam. 0 0.45 NLX, LX to this beam and 0 0.33 NLX to this beam, okay? So let, let's do another slab, T2, yeah, T2, T2 is, this is one short edge. So how to get that? All right, before that, you can see here, uh, for the T1, yeah, 
we only have one one coefficient here continuous age but for t2 we have two coefficient continuous and discontinuous here yeah so what is continuous continuous yeah okay for the uh, bvx the coefficient is only uh, applied to the continuous age okay look at this uh, slab t2 okay for the uh, this one is bvx right so B bvx here is at the continuous age this is continuous age this is continuous age and it is both got the same value yeah 0.47 so we have here 0.47 while at the y direction y direction yeah we have discontinuous here and continuous here so at the discontinuous we have the value of 0.24 so you put here 0 0.24 0 0.36 okay so similar with here yeah? it is symmetry yeah so here is 0 0.36 yeah? here is 0 Uh, doctor, yeah. Uh, how does this become uh, 0.36? Wait, wait. Um, a minute, please. My mouse is not working. Okay, 0 0.36, you can see from the table. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, 0 0.36, yeah, you can see here. Uh, continuous age, 0 0.36. This is continuous age. Yeah, this is... Oh, yes, yes. Wow, okay. So this one is 0 0.37. So here is 0 0.37. Yeah, so here is 0 0.37 as well. 0 0.37. Okay. So meaning that for one beam, yeah, it will receive two two loads eh? that is uh, from the this lab and also from uh, this lab we have if you consider this beam yeah? okay if you consider this beam if you consider this beam right so you have two coefficient now 0 0.36 and 0 0.33 yeah? so if you are designing this beam so you need to consider load from this lab yeah we have a uh, like this okay and we have the load from here like this okay with the value of 0 0.33 from here and 0 0.36 from here okay uh, right uh, Okay, for for this uh, T4, yeah, for this T4. Okay, now for the BVX, we have continuous age and discontinuous age. Which one is X? Yeah? So here we have continuous age. This one is continuous age. This is 
discontinuous edge. So we have 0 0.54 here, 0 0.54. 0 0.54 at the continuous edge, 0 0.54, okay, and then 0. Point, what is that? 35, 0 0.35. Okay, here, all right, and then. For the LY, uh, continuous is 0 0.40, 0 0.40, and the other one is 0 0.26, 0 0.26, okay. Doctor, doctor. Yeah. Uh, can I know what is the definition of continuous edge? Continuous edge, okay. Uh, okay, let's say this beam, yeah? This beam, you, this, this is the beam. Mm -hmm. This slab is surrounded by the beam. Okay, now this is continuous edge. This beam is called continuous edge because here we got a slab and then here we got a slab. So this is continuous edge. This is also continuous edge. This edge is continuous yeah? because we have a slab here and slab here. The same with this. Yeah? This is continuous edge, this one, because we have a slab here and we have a slab here. Yeah? This beam support slab uh, from this, this side and also this side. While this side is discontinuous because it only has one slab here. And here there's no slab here. Yeah? This discontinuous edge. Okay? Okay, understood. Thank you. All right, yeah, so for the rest of the uh, slab, so you can try it, yeah? try to get the value here. It's just the same, yeah? the same. This is one long edge continuous, yeah? one long edge continuous. One long edge continuous, this is T3. Yeah? This is T3, this one is T3, so LX is continuous edge 0 0.54. 0 0.54 here is 0 0.54 0 0.54 so you have here 0 0.54 while one long edge discontinuous sorry 0 0.0.51 0 yeah? sorry 0 0.51 here 0 0.51 Yeah, 0.51 continuous edge 0 0.51 yeah, LX this is shorter uh, the shorter edge and then 0 0.34 at the discontinuous 0 0.34 here yeah. while um, here is 0 0.36 no discontinuous because both side here, here and here, both is zero is continuous edge. So therefore, we have only coefficient for continuous edge. This is zero point three six. Understand, yeah? Okay? Step by step, you right? Yes, doctor, yes, Sorry. Um, okay. Now uh, I need to erase everything.
Okay, now let's say let's say we have a two slab, simple floor plan, yeah, consisting of two a slab. We have uh, here. Uh, okay, this is called three edges discontinuous. Eh? This is type eight to type eight. If you refer to the table, this is type eight eh? because this is continuous. We have two panel, P1 and P2. Eh? This is the slab covered by the uh, beam around them, and the second uh, slab also surrounded by four edges with the beam here. So this is called three edges discontinuous and one short edge one short edge continuous. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is one short edge. Okay. Now. Uh, so six divided by four, it is one point five. Yeah? Therefore, now we have this is the eight discontinuous edge. So this is discontinuous edge. Yeah? This is discontinuous edge. This is called discontinuous edge. This is discontinuous edge. Okay, this is discontinuous edge for this lab, while this one is continuous edge. This. This continuous stage. Your friend just come in. Okay, Isam, yeah, Isam, just join in. Okay, now we have. Uh, Now we have coefficient here, continuous edge 0 0.45, sorry, discontinuous edge, yeah, discontinuous edge, yeah, this is BVX, discontinuous edge 0 0.42, 0 0.42, while for the uh, BVY, we have continuous edge here, yeah, so we have 0 0.45 in discontinuous edge 0 0.3 here yeah and the second slab here the second slab is a uh, now we have seven yeah seven seven divided by four yeah. so what, what is seven divided by four 1.75 so now you need to look at the uh, the table here 1.75 okay 1.75 here yeah, 1.75 go down here just now is the 8 right so this continuous 0 0.45 0 0.35 and 0 0.3 0 0.45 0 0.5 for the bvx BVX is 0 0.45 here, BVX 0 0.45, while for, for BVY, again, BVY, we have two value here, 0 0.45 and 0 0.3. So BVY is actually, is not uh, depend on the LY over LX. So we have now, uh, 0 0.45 and 0 0.3 yeah. although the uh, ly is slightly longer than the first panel yeah okay okay uh, now mm. okay uh, now we have to find what is the action on the beam yeah again uh, by using the the previous uh, example just now so we have okay now we have a beam yeah we we have a grid yeah 
a grid of the plan we have a b here one two three here one two three one two three so uh, in design we need to design every beam yeah in design we need to define every beam okay so we have now continuous beam a one two three yeah? this is continuous beam with two span continuous beam this is also continuous beam with two span while a b is simply spotted beam yeah this is simply spotted beam because we have only two support here one two just now it is continuous because this beam at this beam will be supported by column A, column A1, column A2, and column A3. Therefore, we need to design the whole span. We, we cannot design just A12. We must design it as continuous beam with two span. Okay. Also for B123, yeah, this is continuous beam. Uh, okay, for the simply spotted, it is applied for A, B, 1. This one is simply spotted beam. This is simply spotted beam. And this is also simply spotted beam. Okay, so uh, once we recognize the distribution of load from the slab, so now we can def define what is the load that can, can be uh, applied on the beam that we want to design. For example, A, B, A, B. Okay, A, B, span 1 to A, B, either one, A or B. So, let's say, um, look at B. Yeah. A, B, it will support zero uh, self-weight. Yeah, this is self-weight of the beam. B, H times rho. Yeah, times rho. Plus, this is the coefficient that we determined just now. N, N is the load from the slab. Yeah. We, have, we have the load. The load or action on the slab, we have two types, right? It's permanent load and variable load. N times LX. This is LX. LX. Okay, although it is B12, so our formula is 0 0.42 BVX and LX. Yeah? The portion in relation with the shorter direction of the uh, the, the the side the sort of uh, the LX yeah? again for two three uh, it will support the uh, self weight of the beam rho bh plus zero point four five here and LX yeah so this is the beam uh, the the action that we need to consider yeah, during the uh, design yeah so for a b one a b a B1 and A B3, we have the same load, amount of load. That is, this beam will support uh, self weight, its self weight, BH times rho plus 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 and LX. 0 0.3 and, and LX. Okay. While for A B2, yeah, A B2 here. Yeah, it's different from this AB1 and AB3 because it supports a load from both slab yeah, with the amount of 0 0.45 and 0 0.45. Therefore, now we uh, have to multiply by 2, 0 0.45 and Lx, right? So that is uh, how we find the action on the beam. Now, let's see, let's see now. Uh, this is example, how we calculate this, the beam, uh, the load, the action on the beam, yeah? Uh, we have uh, uh, identified the formula just now. Now we calculate the action, the real action on the beam. Okay. Uh, QK. QK is variable load. QK 
we have formula just now beta vx and lx yeah so for the cube k we have 0.42 time uh, its value of uh, uh, variable load times lx there at least four so you got 4.2 yeah and then the gk the permanent load is from the self weight yeah? self weight we have calculated yesterday the self weight plus 0.42 times the permanent weight from the slab times 4 yeah so you got 12.88 again this is using the same way for the second span qk is 0.45 times the value of the qk yeah uh, 2.5 on the slab time 4 so you got 4.5 and for the permanent load 4.06 plus 0. Uh, 4, 5 times 5.25 times 4 yeah therefore you got 13.51 yeah so this is the um, the action on the beam yeah? and then for the AB1 AB2 and AB3 yeah it's just uh, using this the similar way you need to calculate variable and permanent load separately QK is 0 0.42 times 2.5 times 4, while GK is from self weight plus the permanent weight from permanent action from the slab. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the the load or action that we discussed yesterday for the calculation of cracking. Yeah, we need this value of action GK and QK. Remember. Remember to you. Okay. Any question? No, doctor, no. No, no question at all. Doctor. Yeah. Aku nak tanya sikit boleh tak explain uh, tadi kan masa awal-awal kan doktor ada ada cakap pasal BBY uh. atau BBX kita akan kalikan dengan NLX kan? Hmm. Kenapa BBY tu kita pun still kalikan dengan LX? Kenapa kita tak kalikan dengan LY? Itu memang, itu memang formula dia LX kita semua kita in relation to LX semua. Oh, okay, okay. Maksudnya kita ada shorter lah? Ya. Yeah. Ah. 